Was that Rick I saw driving away? Yes. He stopped by to check up on me. He offered to be my best man. Good. I'm glad you'll have someone to stand up for you. We'll both have someone here supporting us. It's going to be quite a day. The um, end of one era, the beginning of another. Mm -hmm. You thinking it's uh, still going to happen tomorrow? I'm going to have to leave that up to my bride. Yeah. If she wants to go ahead with the way things are planned or postponed, you know, I'll keep you apprised. I've been wondering that perhaps I shouldn't attend. I do bear a certain amount of responsibility for what's going on. Stephanie, what's we've happened. been through all this. Yes, I know. I know. But it just keeps going round and round in my mind. If I had just turned Storm into the police, this might not... Well, this whole thing might not have happened. And I can't help it. I feel guilty about it. It's not going to be easy for me, you know? Being in this house without you. Something tells me your new wife is going to like it that way, though. <laughs> now joke about it. I didn't know I was. Look, you stay. She and I will find a new place. Eric. No, really. Why don't you at least think about it? Eric, it's a done deal. We've signed the papers. You've given me the money. It's in the bank. And I've told you, this is what I want. And you won't reconsider. Do I get the feeling there's someone else in this room that's reconsidering? You know, I know you better than you know yourself. Are you having second thoughts? A little late for me to be having second thoughts. Is that what you're saying? Well, until you actually say I do, you still have time. <laughs> Is that what you need, a little time to really think this through? You know, for the rest of your life is not just a fuzzy, far-off concept anymore, honey. At your age, it's here and now. <laughs> Excuse me? Hello? Hi. It's me. Hey. So where are you? Are you still at the hospital? I'm leaving now. Um, I was just with Katie. Eric, I, I think it's best if we, we go ahead with the wedding tomorrow. I love you so much. Well, it's a done deal then. We're getting married tomorrow. I'll take care of everything. I'm gonna miss your martinis. You can invent a brand new house drink. Yeah? Just don't put any maraschino cherries in <laughs> Right. Uh, you have my word. Oh, forget what I just said. Absolutely ignore me. You're on your own from now on. You can eat and drink anything you want. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'd, I'll stick with these. A toast? Sure. <sighs> to our family. To more wonderful memories than bad ones. Here, here. Oh, my goodness. Good. You know, as... Uh, as you step forward and take a new direction in life, you have a tendency to sort of look back and uh, reflect. And I've been doing a lot of that lately. I know. I've seen it in your eyes. You better get it all worked out before tomorrow, though. That's right. I'm supposed to be the happy-go-lucky bridegroom. <laughs> You'll pull that off brilliantly. You've had quite a bit of experience at it. Yeah, I have, haven't I? Mm -hmm. More than most. Listen. No matter what paths you and I take, I will always treasure you and all of our wonderful memories together. I will always love you.
everything to who Mrs. Eric Forster. <laughs>